valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's viewer request is from EDTim1984. He goes on to talk about recently a Ukrainian Su-27 pilot gave an interview in which he said that Russian pilots are extremely careful but regularly make mistakes. He was flying a mission and a Russian pilot flew 10 kilometers, about 6 miles away from the front line at an altitude of 8,000 meters, about 25,000 feet, to launch an R-37 missile. For the record, the Ukrainian pilot was also further away away from the front so the distance was obviously more than 10 kilometers. The Ukrainian pilot says that he simply did not have the technical ability to respond to the threat and that the Amram missile could have shot down the Russian plane. Maybe you can model this or some other simulation with the capabilities of the F-16. So what Tim seems to be suggesting here is could in a stand-up fight an F-16 with A-120 missiles outsnipe a MiG with R-37M missiles? Well as we have it modeled here in our sim no viewers the f-16 with an aim 120 c7 missile will max out at a range of about 60 miles in perfect parameters whereas super long range r37m would max out at probably double that well over 100 miles so a stand-up head-to-head fight no we're not going to be able to do that but that doesn't mean we can't find a sneaky way of still beating the r37 missile and that's what we're going to do today so first, the geography view, as you can see all the countries here, this dotted line shows the official border between Ukraine and Russia. And this dotted line in yellow shows the forward line of friendly troops. I've modeled a segment of Russian defenses. Firstly, along the front line, we have about 20 low range IR guided missiles. I've modeled them in terms of man pads and strailer missiles. The next line of Russian defense is going to be the medium range, the SA-11 and SA-17 books with ranges of about 20 miles. I've modeled three batteries here here and here. The next range is going to be the medium to long range missiles, the S-300, with a range of about 80 miles. I've modeled one battery and you can see that range ring there. And finally, the super long range S-400 sites in Crimea here. And here with the 48N series of missiles, ranges of about 160 miles, range rings here and here. And I've not modeled any Ukrainian defenses because it's not needed for the role play today. At that point, guys, I will switch over to this battle here. It's a carbon copy. Copy and pasted uh, this battle here over into Russia. The reason is, you're probably aware, is because we're going to be doing a low-level strike today, guys. I need the ground to be highly modelled with all the trees and buildings and stuff that allow us to hide from the Russian radar. We don't have that level of ground modelled in Ukraine, but we do over here. So today, this is Ukraine. Guys, we're obviously going to be operating in the uh, new F-16s provided to Ukraine. Um, we're going to have more today than they actually have. There will be two specifications today. Decoy and uh, Striker or Aggressor. And they'll all be armed the same. We'll be operating from a forward operating base several tens of miles behind the flot. All will be equipped with four Amram Cs, two AIM-9 Sidewinders, fuel tanks, and a jammer. It's not the correct type of jammer that they're actually being supplied with, but it's going to be near enough for today. First, the strikers will take off, of which there will be probably three today, fly about 90 miles east. Uh, steer point two, you will hold. You have a visual reference here, and your entire ingress today will be very low level. Once you get to this VFR ref, then just hold in a low orbit and wait for the next stage. The decoys will take off at the same time and they will fly northeast by 100 miles to this steer point here, at which point you will loiter in an orbit at 40,000 feet waiting for further orders. Try and stay within this area here, this kill box, and that's because you're bait today. We want you to be as shootable as possible. Next, I'll introduce the hostile aircraft today. It will be four MiG-31s armed with four super long-range R-37M missiles and two medium-range R-71. Dash one missiles. They are set to aggressors and they are veteran skill level. They are not to be messed with. I'll tell you exactly how I've scripted them, guys, because that's going to play into how we react to the situation. So first, they will do a leg of 50 miles and they're just patrolling, but not reacting. Once they get to steer point one, I will turn their reactions on so they'll now come looking for us and head probably roughly this direction here towards, if everything works, the decoys, which are nice and visible at 40,000 feet. I've put a rough timing marker here, and this is all going to be controlled today by a Ukrainian EWR placed here and a uh, ground controller who can obviously see the MiGs and see us. Once the MiG-31s get into this zone here, it's our timing queue. That's where we start our attack. And obviously this is all about trying to fool the MiG-31s into exposing themselves. At that point, the MiGs will only be able to see the high aggressors up here. Again, if everything works properly. 
Once they get within the timing queue, the decoys will set off from steer point one towards steer point two and go that direction as far as you need to. Basically head towards the bad guys. You're doing this to try and make yourself a target. You're trying to simulate a strike that's coming in. Again, if everything goes right, the MiG-31s will just see you and launch their missiles at you from long range, maybe over 100 miles, we'll have to see. They will support their missiles, but once they get to this yellow line here, um, they will realise that they've gone over the front line, and they are at that point disengage and head home at maximum speed. So just bear that in mind. They will not go above uh, past the flot, as they probably would not do in real life. If you've done your drop decoys and the missiles are in the air, your only job at that point is to evade the missile. So as soon you be, as you've been shot at, basically, and you'll know when you've been shot at, beat the missile. Turn cold, go in a dive, do a big notch, whatever you've got to do. Don't take any chances. Just beat the missile. Now, you're not going to be re-engaging decoys from there. You're just decoys today. Uh, I don't want to see any heroics of you going into combat. Next is us. Again, when the timing queue happens, guys, the strikers or aggressors that are orbiting at low level here are going to aggress to roughly steer point three here at about 600 knots. And our job is to keep as low as possible. We want to be as less attractive target to the MiGs as possible. Remember the MiGs have looked down pulse Doppler radar so they can see low targets but our job is to look as inconspicuous and hard to see and as bad target as possible. So we're going to go fast and we're going to go very low. Our job is to cross the border, evade the SAM, stay as low as possible and get underneath the MiG-31s. We'll attack them from beneath once they're fired. Our whole idea is that if the decoys have done their job the MiGs will have target fixation. That gives us a chance to pop up below and actually shoot them down with our much inferior ranged weapons. It's really important that our strikers minimise our exposure times. These are all active SAMs. The IRs all modelled, the uh, 11s and 17s are all modelled, the 300s modelled, the 400s modelled. So as soon as we pull up, we'll be shot at. We know because we've done this type of thing before. So I only want to pop up once we know we're directly below the MiGs. Okay, guys, and we'll know that because the controller will tell us we will have them on our map. Um, so we're not going to do that. Straight up, shoot them down, and then get down as quickly as possible. If we do it all right like that, time everything perfect, we're going to set the trap. The MiGs will hopefully fall for it, and we'll hopefully take some MiGs down without any losses. That would be brilliant, guys. And this is my best way of doing the attack, realistically, by which I mean not just getting into silly, stupid dogfights, which it just wouldn't do in real life. Yeah, road takeoff. <laughs> yes, Bird. Hello, uh, viewers. Simba, Dark, Bird, Strider, uh, Poosh, me and Cannibal. Hello, boys. Hello. 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 Myself, Hello. Simba and Strider are strikers. The rest are uh, decoys. Guys, please make sure you're... Um, Jammers are de-energized and decoys. Please take off and head uh, onto your steer point one. Right, who's going to crash today? Who's going to mm. like You have to ask. <laughs> I haven't taken off in a few weeks. How was your holiday, dog? Great. Rider a bit to the right. Do we need to loiter anywhere or? Yes, we're going to get to steer point two, the strikers, and loiter low in a left orbit while we wait for the um, the mix. The radar is on or off? I don't think it's going to matter today. You'll probably do it off in real life, but I don't think it's going to matter today how everything's set up, so just leave it. So you're going straight to steer point two? Yeah, uh, no, I've just got the chain. 
viewers, we've got the new um, Ukrainian livery on today, and I'll put it in the video description so that you can use it if you want. Right, check the map. So the decoys are on their way, led by Poo. You can always fence in if you want. Roger. And it's a great idea, guys. And smash. Um, let me check. There's no other MIGs about. Okay, MIGs are not in play. They will essentially appear on the map at random at some point. Just a reminder, jammers off for everyone for the time being, please. Alright, Bungtons, we have... Where do we work? 60 miles to step point two. As to watch equipment, um, Ukraine actually has. They have these type of AMRAMs. Uh, they have different type of sidewinders, an older type at the moment, but apparently they will be getting this most more modern type. They do have ECMs as well, although they're a different type, European type. We are 44 miles from the flot. The hostile do actually have an AWACS, so I can't see it for some reason. The AWACS is very powerful, but um, we have jammers about 50 miles back, ground-based jammers, which really make the AWACS not very effective at these ranges at these altitudes, so it's unlikely that the AWACS is going to spot us down here. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't break my fucking gear out. Yeah, that'll happen. You cracked out. For the jammer to work, it has to be on semi or auto. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll put it on auto and I'll then on the left. No, put it on semi. Yeah. Yeah. If it's auto, it'll automatically jam the moment you get locked. And dump flares oh. the moment you get locked. It'll dump everything you have. Good call, guys. I can only have my jammer source switches off because music should be off, right? Mm -hmm. 20 miles, uh, strikers to RV. How far have you got, uh, decoys? Birds in the lead in 15 miles. Nice back formation, boys. We, we are one. We are one. Yes. I'm about to come to a heading of 080 as I enter the circle just to get a good orbit. Progress, you guys are... Ah, and just as I was on map, MiG 31s. I started their patrol equipped with their big fat R37s and their R77 1s, not to be messed with. Look at the visibility of that guy there. There is no visibility. Going right. Yeah, 10 minutes out from anchor point. Right. I recommend fencing in. Visual smoke on our 3 o'clock. Front lines. Uh, right to zero nine zero now, just for a bit, guys. Ten o'clock is our visual reference for our orbit points. Uh, strikers have met anchor points. We're going to go into a left orbit now, guys. Decoys, expect a left turn to about zero uh, three six zero here in five seconds, and coming left to three six zero. Autopilot on. Decoys continuing to turn to 270. Progress update. MIGs still on their patrol. Decoys um. are decoying in their decoy ring. Well done, boys. Everything going to plan. Decoys, confirm music off. Music off. Strikers, wear music off as well. Double check switchology. The trap is laid, viewers. Now, will they fall into it? The AI is so, well, no one really knows what's going to happen. Fingers crossed. Big still patrolling. Used to find the F-16 kind of ugly, but I think I've come around. Oh, one of the most that beautiful. That is blasphemy. Bit and you will be admonished later. Just, just giving you the truth. That's the first time 18. I've ever heard that. 18's up there, though. Yes, 18's Decoy. definitely up there. Turning yes, left man. to 180 in 5 seconds. Just stand by for the turn. Mm -hmm. And left turn. Oh, on vacation I did. There was a flyover of uh, F-16s. Where were you, Doc? I forget. 
Bar. Belgium. Belgium. Roger. Okay, Migs have now spotted you and they're burning towards you. Just got to wait for them to head over to Simon Gates. We should probably start heading in the direction of Waypoint 2, though, because we're yep. way up in the yeah. end of yeah, five miles before they cross the timing gates. My guys will get ready to go as well. Here we go, Viewingtons. Ground controller says they are past the timing gates and aggressing. Cab autopilot off. I'm going to burn just to get some speed, my guys. We go tactical and get on heading. All right, let's hope this works. You guys ready for some speed? Yep. On heading, pretty much. I'll change to get on track in a bit. We're still 60 miles back from the front, so we don't need to be super low, my guys. Starting a slow climb up to like 37, so we are a nice juicy target. Yes, sir. Oh, you are juicy. You're beautifully juicy, bird. I sure hope, I sure I hope they don't shoot any big missiles at you. Some might say he's succulent. Succulent. Yes, indeed. All right, next to the pressing. No missiles fired. And dumping tanks. Uh, right, so are we ready to dump our tanks, uh, strikers? At 72. Oh. Right, don't forget to... Yeah, we're still at 8,000. Do you guys adjust in course? Right roll. You can press list, then two to see your fuel. Or you can just look at the fuel gauge, it's already there. That's what I do. Right. I'm old school. Gauge is best gauge. AWACS is looking, but I don't think it's seen us down here. It's probably seen you guys, though. Contact. All right. Oh, 52 really miles. Roger, nope. that. Missile launch. Whatever you do, don't lock oh, sugar missile launch already. Hundred percent. R thirty sevens in the air. Yep. Missile on me. All right. Just, 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 just do your job. Breaking right. Do your job. Checking the overview. Yes. Wow. It's all going to happen very fast now. Migs are launching all Miss of the friggin' missiles. Wow. Missile launch on me. Music on. Yeah, you oh, guys yeah. get dodging. Yeah. We've not been fired on down here, so we've not been spotted. All is well so far, guys. Forty miles. Jeez, look at those missiles just smash at eighty-eight thousand feet and they are one hundred percent tracking, guys. Over Trying to get the leftmost. 34 miles. Over 2,000 knots. It really doesn't like me. They are diving, Cap. Okay, just chill until we get a definite spike. Come on, come on, fall into our trap. They're at 18,000 feet. All right, it's all right. We've not been spiked, we've definitely got no missiles coming towards us. Missiles are 90,000 feet, 1,900 knots, and definitely tracking. 20,000, 20 miles. 20 miles. Okay, I'm going tactical low now, just to make sure. Not that low. Give us a praise of that distance, please. We must only pop 18, up 18, 17 miles. Okay, this is going to be beautiful. This is gonna be Almost in range. Remember, um, remember, we're going below them, we're going below them. Don't fill up beforehand. We'll only enter an engagement if we do that. All right, missiles are in range. Wait for it, boys, wait for it. 1912. How's our azimuth, Simba? Uh, I would say pull up and fire now. No, 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 stick to the plan. How's our azimuth, guys? I can't see them myself. Eight miles. Keep going. Keep going, stick to the plan, guys, stick to the plan. It's going to be They're fine. coming off to our right. All right. Simba, let's do it. Punch it. Good luck, everyone. Oh, 
bloody ground has to be here, doesn't it? Can't see a thing. Remember, squeak, fire, get out. No visual. In the blind. Flash. Visual. Box three. Where the bloody rest of them? Better Fox 3. So it's not gonna hit a wall. Splash one, splash one. Can we see any more? Gotta be quick now. Yes, yes, more. Better Fox 3. Uh, come on, let me have him, let me have him, let me have him. Please let me have him. I'm going down. I've got to jump into my tanks, I've got to put my jammer on, I've got to do all the things I'm supposed to do. I'm going down as quick as I can, guys. Spike. The uh, boots are starting to fire. That one explode by me. Shit. Me fired. F-16. Right, just self-preservation now, it's self-preservation. Did we get them all? I don't know, yep. just... Four oh, down. We did, well done guys, brilliant work. Alright. Get safe, get home. They shot at. Come on, cap. Use your training. Back to waypoint two. Headed the wrong way. I know, I know, I know. Where? Dodge your missile. Nine G pull. Oh. Alright, reorientated. I'm heading. I'm coming. Oh, that got a blood gut flowing, viewers. We got shot out by a lot of. Uh, no, only three missiles, but that's enough for me. But as long as we keep low, 600 knots, and then we should be okay. Just watch out for those man pads. No S-305, so that's S-305. Uh, Simba and Strider are north of the flock. Roger. Well done, everyone, so far. Nice work. There are also lots of AAA, so just bear that in mind. Not that there's much you can do about it, but I've modeled, like, 100 AAA units that are going to have to take a pop at you. Oh, sorry. I'm north of the flock. Decoys, did you dodge the missiles? Yep. Uh, yeah, I think we're all alive. Oh, they're still chasing you, but they're um, running out of speed. Uh, back down. I want to explode like 500 feet away from you. Okay, what on? Back. I'm climbing for fuel. No, it's found me again. Some are still chasing you at 300 knots. Ah, well done for beating them, guys. That's not the easiest thing to do, I'm aware. Wish them went fired fast. Nice work. One more alive, it's tracking. Oh, I've warmed the cockles, viewers. If you want your cockles warm. Yes, we're all past the flock. Woo! And out of danger, pretty much. Great work. Let's go home. Last one's home's a rotten egg, I suppose. S400's in play, but uh, it's unlikely they're going to be shooting us from here. Ah, oh, That could have gone a lot worse. I think I caught the MiGs just as they'd hit the flock and they were turning round. In fact, yes, they were heading cold when I got up there. So our timing was perfect, we were late. My guys were late, I got to there late. And so by the time we pulled up, 
the MiGs would just hit the plot and then turning round, which made them extra vulnerable, so that's a bit of luck, I guess. Fuel is good, missiles, and we still have some. Buck, I Sorry think not. that was uh, totally planned. That's what I said. Totally planned. All right, I'm going to taunt these guys at a thousand feet. I know they can't hit me. Famous last words. Decoys, what's your fuel state? Oh, one four. One six. Four point four. Oh, push of all the fuel. I have one point. I have like two point four after the missiles are gone. I shot 16 missiles at you, that's, that's pretty hardcore. Mm -hmm. We fired five missiles and killed four, that's not bad. I think me and Simba doubled up on one. I noticed not only they were big, but they were also really slow. The uh, MiGs, yeah, when they turn, they are extremely slow. They were a straight line interceptor. They had their um, off burners on all the time, they were max power, it's just... Uh, would that be possible in real life, viewers? I don't see why not, everything was modeled here. All the radars were modelled. I mean, we had everything on our side, if you know what I mean. We, 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 we scripted that entire engagement. All the timings were perfect. Everything was set up. So you'd have to know where the mix was coming from, I suppose. But theoretically, there's nothing that shouldn't work there. We got shot up by the SAMs, but, you know, we did enough to evade them. Take that tail with Snap it off. Power lines below you. Yeah, who's going to get those today? They are clear at that T junction. First man down, well done. Oh, 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 oh. All right. <clears throat> Watch out for the lines, poles. I think they had a damn courtesy to remove those poles if we're going to put a farm here, but I guess not. That would make it too obvious that they're the part. There you go. Got to keep moving it. Every couple of days I've got to move this far viewers so that the Russians don't find where it is and bomb it. Second man down. Third man down. Shit. Shit. Save this somehow. Beautiful, beautiful landings, guys. Perfect. Oh, oh! Someone just generally, someone hit the light poles. Who's the knocker? Yeah. It was me. Who <laughs> hit the light poles? Whoopsie! Can we get anyone down in one piece? Visual. Well, your problem is you didn't I mean, the canopy. I was down in one piece. Mm, yes. Unfortunately, it's a team effort. You'd be unhappy to know. Random landing coming up. Go on, boys. Okay, I'm pulling off this side. Yeah, one thing we've learned, get off the runway as soon as possible. Is anyone behind me? You did land it fast. Yes. Uh-oh. Looks like they're scrolling long if you were going to go. Right, super gap, go. Woohoo! Breaking. Hmm, what was that about the last one bad cap? Oh, there's light bulbs. Uh, buying the beer, I believe. I don't want to buy the beer. I don't want to. Well, I mean, the other two still have to turn around and bat taxi, so. Damn, guys, that's unfortunate long landing. Final. Right, where are those light bulbs? Uh, you're over light pole still. You gotta wait for a teaching ship. I hope it's a kink in the road. Come on. I love the fact how you're actually going to play chicken with Strider. Yeah, I can't stop by the way, so no to that back. Uh, oh boy. Look at that stopping power bird. Mmm, look at that sexy, sexy plane. I'm not going to lose, I'm not going to lose, I'm not going to lose. No, oh, I lose. Not fair. 100% not fair. Right, if I'm gonna give, I'm gonna be a bad loser like my baby in that case. Watch this. Take up with the distance trucks. 
Get some, baby. So the buyers in Ukraine do not do this for the F-16s. Oh, two tents in one bird. 